And we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. Just Joel here from Atlanta Knife, and today I am reviewing the CMB Made Knives Predator. So there are lots of options for this bad boy. So I have right here, I have the Red Micarta with the Sandblast, and then there's also orange and black G10 options as well. So here they are. This one has the black finish, of course, and this one has the, like, satin sandblast. You can also get uh, the orange and pretty much all the other ones in the opposing uh, finishes. So if you liked the red micarta but wanted the black blade, they got gotcha. you. So this knife is 7.87 inches overall with a 3.42 inch D2 blade. No jimping, which is a little disappointing for me, but you know, Everyone, everything can't have jimping, I've been told. Uh, this is about, I want to say, 1.18 inches wide. That's probably about what it is. Yeah. 3.5 millimeters thick. It is deployed with the black finish dual-sided thumb studs, so there it is opens really well really easily and then it has uh, the access lock or pivot lock I believe CMB calls it the access lock but much like the SOG Terminus it closes easy one hand deployment right here open and then close it up make sure your fingers out in the way because they will get snapped it also has the uh, like a black milled jimped little backspacer. It's also got the uh, black liners and they're milled as well so to cut down a weight on weight again. It's got the sandblasted tip-up stainless pocket clip. Not reversible on this but you do get option because again whatever blade finish you go with your pocket clip is going to match. So this one's got the black finish so you have the black finish pocket clip. I'm not crazy about the G10 one. I like the Micarta one better, but I do like the, the the plain Jane Joe one just to show you that, you know, some people like the, the plain black and the satin finish. Classic look. And they all work the same. They all have the pivot lock. Of course, the hardware on this one is stainless, not finished with anything, so it's not black like the other one. I believe the black, the orange G10 with the satin finish has the same color hardware as this one. So just keep that in mind. If you like the black hardware, you gotta pick one of these. So a plus, along with this great, great knife, which I think is only like 50 bucks, I think, at AtlantKnife.com. Not only do you get this with the Micarta and the D2, but you also get a CMB made knives pouch. Just right there. It's a little zipper pouch. It's got some fur lining, probably to keep the blade from being scratched or anything in there. But you also get like this, you know, shock your retina burnt orange cleaning cloth with CMB made knives logo on it. So that's nice. I always like it when companies do a little extra just to show you get a little more bang for your buck. So this was D2. It does have, you know, no jimping, flat grind, plain edge. Overall, I really like this knife. It's a pretty good pivot lock or access lock knife. Good price, D2, and you get lots of options and all the extras. Really can't complain. And I, I hear that, look at that, look at that, look at that. It's just so nice. Opens so well, deploys, deploys so well, closes so well. Does operate on copper ceramic ball bearings, which I'm assuming, well, you know what happens when you assume. I'm assuming that the bearings are made of copper, but you never know. So if any of you, you know, crack open this bad boy, send us a picture. We'd love to see a picture. Uh, D2 on this one, so it comes up to 59, 61 on the HRC. 
about average for this knife. D2 micarta. It's got a 4.97 ounces, I think it weighs. So, overall, I give it an A in my book. So, I am Just Joel with a Lant Knife. This was the CMB Made Knives Predator, and I am signing off.